Good morning. It's my birthday. It's my 27th birthday. Is 27 still like mid 20s or am I now into the late 20s category? I think I've said before that I'm not really a birthday person. I like other people's birthdays, but I'm not like huge on having my own birthday celebration thing, which is good because this year I'm completely by myself. My friends that live nearby are going to be celebrating with me later in the week. My parents are gone. It is just me and the little puppy dog. <laughs> this is like best case scenario for me because <laughs> I could do whatever I want on my birthday. And I actually think for the first year, I'm going to steal something that I have seen my good friend Becca C. Smith do, which is basically like, she just puts what she wants out into the universe on her birthday. So my plan for the day is just to enjoy all of the things that I love doing the most. I mean, I'm drinking a cappuccino, which I do every day. So I guess that's not really like what I love doing the most, but the championships for Wimbledon are on. So I'm just gonna watch those. I'm going to finish reading a book today. That's the plan. I'm going to go and coffee shop hop and get some words in. I'm also going to roam my little butt all the way <laughs> into San Antonio so that I can use up some of those birthday freebies. That's the plan for the day. It's gonna be chill. I'm excited. Federer is playing Djokovic in the finals. And um, you know, Federer is my boy. I'm not saying he'll be ruining my birthday if he doesn't win, but like, he better win. <laughs> Championship point number two? Come on, I'm stressed out. Ah! I feel like all I've done is watch tennis and finish editing this vlog so far, but honestly, Great start to my birthday. <laughs> this game is literally going into the tiebreak. I cannot handle this stress. My video is almost up and ready, but like <sighs> triple championship point for Djokovic. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, oh well, I like Djokovic too, but like, nah. <laughs> this, holy crap, y'all. This match though, it's past one now. It's only because I've watched this match that I've been able to get this video done and up. And now I'm actually going to go to the gym. Because kind of harkening back to Becca's thing about like having your birthday be the thing that, like a setting a precedent of sorts for the rest of your year. I really do want this year to get back on track with like half marathon training. I'm trying to focus more on the habits that need to be built in order to achieve the goals. But I do have a couple goals this year that are like health related that I don't wanna share just yet, but like I, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. But again, in order to achieve those goals, you actually have to like, you know, work out. <laughs> Yay! I did it. Now, okay. Now I'm going to go and order my free Starbucks birthday drink. They only let you do it for like a day now, which is weird. I feel like they used to do it like your entire birth month, but maybe not. Oh, look at that. See, happy birthday. Thank you, Starbucks. Okay, I'm gonna redeem this. Whose birthday reward? Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Hi, I have a mobile order and can I also get a venti cup of water? Oh, just kidding. It's right there. Okay, yes, I can get them for you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. You too. My drinks made a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Do you care to go inside? Yeah. Okay, so now that I am mostly cooled off, I have a couple more things on my birthday list, but they require going into town because I have a coupon and a gift card to Half Price Books, so I'm gonna get myself a book for my birthday, a birthday book. Okay. <laughs> and then also bubble tea. It is 317 now, so it is time to get moving. <laughs> So I just got out of the shower and I parted my hair kind of funky. I never part my hair this way. Is it gonna show up? Can you see? I got like a whole streak of gray hair going, you know, to really drive the point home that it's my birthday and that I'm aging. So for the next thing on the list, slash my plan, slash the freebie I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go sit down, write and read at Panera Bread because I got a free birthday pastry and a free pick too. So literally I'm just eating for free all the food. Full free. <laughs> and that way I can actually get some words in today because I'm not planning on doing anything for Cam NaNoWriMo, but I I want to just start the second romance novella that I'm going to be writing. I, oh, I'm so excited for this one. I was excited for the first one, but I'm extra excited for this one. 
because I also think I'm gonna do my uh, challenge to see how fast I can write 13,000 words on this one. So I figured I'd get like a little bit of a start, just kind of feel out the project, sort of like what I did with the last novella. So I'm freaking pumped and free food. But before I pack all of this up, I did wanna show you some extra fun stuff about my birthday. Number one being that it is also Bastille Day. And apparently, Conor McGregor's birthday, so, you know, that's great. <laughs> the other thing to know about my birthday, July 14th, the thing that my friends from college love to remind me of <laughs> is the fact that uh, July 14th is National Nude Day. Now, the first thing that came up was actually something in Scottsdale, Arizona, so shout out to the people in Scottsdale. I hope you're celebrating. <laughs> I think a bucket list item for me is to go to some ridiculous national nude day thing. There's a birthday suit joke in there, you know. But all right, it is time to start packing up to get to Panera and get that free food. Duke is not excited about this. I know he looks like he's just chilling like he always does, but I can feel it. He's not excited. Also, in the Camp NaNoWriMo video I posted today, Lost in a Bookcase complained saying, I don't want to go in the bag. Guess what, Lost in a Bookcase? You going in the bag again. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because it's time. All right, we are going to park at the bubble tea place, but we're actually gonna go walk over this way past the truck, obviously, in order to get to half price books. Now, I don't have a particular book that I have in mind to buy, but because I have the gift card and the discount, I think I'm just gonna like get whichever book strikes my fancy. Oftentimes I find that I'm only looking at like the bargain rack for stuff and or things that I can't find at my library, which oftentimes are in the bargain rack because they're a little bit older. Maybe I'll pick out a current book. That would be cool, right? Oh my gosh, there's so many people here. I always think titles like this are so interesting. There's so much of the blank's daughter or something. And then when it's a son, it's like son of blank rather than the blank son. Anyways, and then after having said that, I found the daughters of Temperance Hops. Aha, uh -huh, I found exactly what I wanted. This book by Cap Chip. I'm so excited. Okay, so something y'all might not know is that Cat actually makes author tube and book tube videos. And I have been just pumped for this novel. Yay! Yeah. Uh, now we're just gonna do everything we did to get here to go back. Oh my gosh, I'm stopped at the light here, but there's a rainbow over that way. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can get it. Rainbow! All my stuff. <laughs> and Duke, you do it outside. Hello, let's go. We're gonna see if we can find the rainbow because I wasn't that far from home when I saw it. So. No, the trees are in the way. Stupid trees. Y'all, I got a rainbow and like the prettiest moon I've seen. Oh my gosh, okay. So I just finished the book that I was reading for my birthday, Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. 
So I got this recommendation from Jessica Williamson. I will link her down below. She does a lot of booktube content as well as author tube content and y'all will have heard me talk about her a lot before because she's my friend. This book though, okay? I have such conflicting thoughts because it was one of the most fun reads I've had in a long time. Like the voice on the character, it pops so strongly. I think there was a lot of humor in this book and it's about like, actual witches and Wicca and zombies and like it's a creepy crawly spooky kind of thing and there's so much to love about it but the last like 70 pages once we're resolving the whole mystery that kind of runs throughout the story and the whodunit just kind of I think I had expectations that were up here because the rest of the book had been up here actually it had been off screen. That's how good it was. And then the last 70 pages in the whodunit hit like right here for me. And then like the very ending was good and provided some amount of emotional closure that I needed, but it was just like, mm. I would still recommend this to people though. Like it is so fun, but it's one of those things where like as a writer, I've just sit here and I'm like, I'm curious about the choices that were made. Yeah, I got questions. Like this is when there's no good way to ask that of an author, <laughs> but I wanna know, you know, I wanna know. <laughs> I think I got what the author was going for and like, some of the tropes she was kind of trying to subvert and it but it just didn't land right I and I'm wondering if maybe there were like a little bit more scenes that could have helped and again as a writer this always makes me wonder like were there more scenes at one point that better explain this and then through the edits and revisions and multiple other eyes that just kind of got lost somewhere you wouldn't think that would happen but <sighs> otherwise a plus book would recommend a dead girl gang, Lily Anderson. <laughs> over here with a vengeance? No. So the last thing I want to say about birthdays as I'm about to drink my tea out of the new mug that my friend got me it is ginormous and Darth Vader so like everything that's amazing about this world is that my favorite thing about birthdays is to like compare where I was the year previous and like kind of a fun nostalgic kind of way. I don't know why birthdays it's the time that I tend to see growth more so than like a new year sort of thing or anything else and last year on my birthday I was actually in Winnipeg Canada on my super mega solo road trip and I was also alone then too unfortunately that year I also got a migraine and then I started sprouting a weird rash <laughs> so the day itself was actually not as good as the day this year 2019 but I feel like the growth in between 26 up until 27 has been phenomenal I feel like just where I'm at mentally is better the stuff I'm looking forward to I'm really excited for and <sighs> yeah I feel like 27 is gonna be a good year for me and I have a lot of projects coming up that I think I'm finally going to get to see all of that hard work and like still hard work to come. But I think I'm finally gonna get to see like the end result of that hard work, you know? And that's just, that's awesome. That's awesome. So anyways, please do comment down below. Let me know what your birthday traditions are. Let me know if you like me don't like birthdays or celebrating your own birthday. And I don't actually think I ever said why I'm not a huge birthday person, but part of it is because I grew up a really shy kid and I absolutely hated when everyone gathered around to sing happy birthday to you. <laughs> and so I think I just like associate that with, I still don't like, I still just don't like it. <laughs> and we also moved around a lot, usually in the summer, which is when my birthday is. So, you know, I was starting in a new place with like not a whole lot of friends. I think I got used to birthdays when it was just my family or just me kind of getting to do my own thing and it not being a huge deal. And so now that's just what I like. But yeah, please do comment down below. Let me know how you've grown in the past year. Let me know if you've read any good books recently and also let me know what kind of markers you use. Are you like a new year's, new year, new you kind of person or do you do more what I do which is around your birthday time and like reevaluating and just kind of checking in with yourself then? Are you a quarterly, monthly, whatever kind of person or what's up? Yeah, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will actually have another video up tomorrow which will be the how long does it take me to write 13,000 words because that's what I've been doing in the past two days. Today's my break day from that. So 
and that one was a lot of fun. So, <laughs> okay, yeah, I will see y'all then. Bye. <laughs> but all right. Oh no, that cannot show that. Let me try that again. There's people. Is he chewing the grass? Is that a Djokovic thing? Oh my god, I can't. Okay.